Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm standing in front of the Tumbleweed Cypress 24. This is 172 square feet. It's amazing how much we've been able to put into this house. This is the equator floor plan. We just redesigned it, and I can't wait to show you what's inside. So here I am sitting in the bump out. This is my favorite feature of the Cypress model. And this Cypress 24 runs 24 feet from front to back. I'm gonna take you for a tour and show you just how big this little house is. What we've done here is we've got the L-shaped kitchen, but this is a new upgrade that we've added. It's a washer dryer unit that has both in the same unit. We have standard sized oak cabinets. We've painted them red. We've got lots of choices of colors so we can stain them. On the butcher block countertop, you can see this built-in induction cooktop. So what this means is that you can put a, um, your pan here and it'll heat up when the pan's on top, but otherwise you can touch it and it won't get hot at all. Okay, so here is our optional apartment size fridge. Rather than the under counter, this one has a nice size fridge and some good freezer space as well. And just to the left of that, we have our closet for clothes hanging and with some extra hangers on top and a few shelves in the bottom. And that leads us into the downstairs bedroom or office. You can set this up however you choose. So it's the right size for a twin size bed. Just off to the side, we have our bathroom and it has the full shower, a low flush toilet with the foot pedal and a little sink and even a mirror as well. We've put in some ladder stairs and these ladder stairs are really cool because they have drawers to store stuff in. In this model, we put all of our mechanicals in the bottom three. So we're gonna have our water storage tank down there and our hot water heater. So let's head on up. And this is just so much easier than the ladder in my opinion. So upstairs in this loft, I've got the double dormers and it creates a huge amount of space. I'm currently sitting on a queen size mattress, but I could put a king in here if I wanted to. And as far as headspace goes, I'm six foot two and I'm still fine sitting up in bed. We have a 50 amp, 220 volt hookup. This is what comes standard with our homes. We've got the hot water heater that you can access from the outside. It's gonna be a 10 gallon hot water heater. Here we have our entry into our water holding tank and you can also hook up your hose. We have a cover here for just a regular 110 outlet. And down below here underneath there's going to be a three inch sewer hookup. So I can hook up directly to the sewer. I can also put a temporary tank underneath. So this is the hitch end of our Tumbleweed Cypress 24. This is a two and five sixteenth ball hitch. Works with just about any type of uh, connection you got with most trucks. For this house, since it's our biggest one, we recommend a one ton like a Ford 350, Dodge 3500, Chevy 3500. For our smaller models, you can do a uh, three quarter ton, which would be like a 250 for the Ford and a 2500 for the other truck series. And on the trailer hitch here, we have our, our processor for the um, heater and the air conditioner. It's all one unit combined. We'll see you on the road.